Do you want to learn how to get that shiplap look on a budget? Stick around, that's what this video is all about. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com and today we're going to show you how to install shiplap on a budget. So stick around, we're getting started right now. For our project, we used quarter inch plywood cut into six inch wide strips. And we also used two inch 18 gauge brad nails to attach it to the wall. To notch around objects, I mark and measure where the cut needs to be relative to the previously installed board. I use an adjustable square to lay out all of my cut lines. And this is much faster than making multiple marks and then connecting them with a ruler. Then I use a jigsaw with a fine tooth blade to cut out the notches. Every now and then you'll have a nail coil up like you just saw. Here, we'd hit a piece of metal strapping in the wall that caused this. No big deal though, we just pulled the nail out, filled the hole, and once the entire wall was finished, you couldn't even see it. Even though the glass front on our fireplace gives us a fairly large margin for error, we still opted to remove the glass and notch the shiplap as closely as possible to the main box of the fireplace just to ensure a really good finished look. Hey y'all, just a quick heads up. All the tools and materials that we use in this video are linked in the description below. So if you're wondering what a particular item is or where to buy it, I've got you covered. Also, one more thing while we're finishing up around the fireplace here. If you haven't seen the first part of this project, make sure to catch that one too. Go ahead and open that card at the top in a new tab and then come back here to watch the rest of this video. With this last board around the fireplace cut, we went ahead and installed the glass front back on, mainly to double check that everything looks good and that we don't need to recut any of the boards. But with this section done, the rest of this wall went really fast until we had to notch around the door. To continue the rows of shiplap, we used a level as a straight edge and held the next board in place. Once that next board was lined up, we nailed it in. We didn't start at the top here because our ceiling isn't perfectly flat. By starting on the second row, we were able to have a good reference to then install the very top row. And since we did it in this order, I was able to describe the top of the top row's board to the ceiling accurately. The rest of this section went really fast, and since the boards were smaller, it was the perfect opportunity to let our daughter in on the fun. She loves being in the middle of the home renovations and will probably end up stealing all of my tools one of these days. Before marking and measuring around an outlet, I make sure to cut the power just in case my tape measure hits one of the terminals. I don't like the idea of getting electrocuted. We didn't show this, but we also installed shiplap on the left hand side of this wall. And next we're going to show you how to trim that up using a really fast method. Before we get to that though, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Today's sponsor is Glasses USA, and they offer prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices by cutting out the middleman. They make it easy to shop for prescription eyewear online and have affordable prices. Their virtual try-on tool is easy to use and shows you what your glasses will look like once they arrive. I love my blue light blocking glasses for long video editing sessions, and they even offer their blue light blocking option in non-prescription glasses as well. You can add any type of prescription to almost any set of frames, including sunglasses and blue light blocking glasses. A complete pair of frames and lenses starts at only 30 bucks. That includes basic prescription lenses too. A cordless multi-tool is a really useful tool to have at your disposal. I've used it for so many different projects I've honestly lost count, but it's my go-to for tasks like this. With a flush cutting blade installed, it makes trimming the shiplap a very easy task. And after everything was cut, I quickly sanded the sides of the shiplap with my surf prep sander to smooth out any irregularities. So now we have all the shiplap installed and we're just gonna do a little bit of prep work before we start painting. We're gonna caulk in between the top row of shiplap and ceiling, and then any voids and whatnot, we're going to fill with lightweight spackling compound. What we have right here is the patch and paint by DAP. When caulking, I like to smooth out the bead with my finger rather than a specialized tool. I also wear a glove just to keep my hands clean. And after every section, I clean my hand with a damp paper towel, and that gives me great results. I didn't show it, but I used a small putty knife to fill any nail holes. And once the putty was dry, I used 120 grit sandpaper to smooth out any high spots of the putty. After the caulk is cured, we first tape off the ceiling, walls, and trim. We also masked off the fireplace glass with plastic drop cloth. Next, we prime the wood with General Finish's stain blocking primer, but Zinsser Bin 123 is another good primer if you happen to have that one on hand. 
we first brushed the gaps and then rolled the face of each board. We like using the 2.5 to 3.5 inch sash brushes for cutting in and painting in between the boards. We then followed that up with a 6 inch roller with a 3 8 nap. After the primer was cured, we went back with two coats of Bear Premium Plus in satin, and the color we chose is Polar Bear. Once we were finished with the second coat, we went ahead and pulled the tape so that we wouldn't have any issues with the paint peeling. Okay guys, this portion of the fireplace edition is wrapped up, but stick around for the end cards. We're going to show you how to make a faux beam out of dimensional lumber. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll get to you as soon as possible. Ah, you're still there. Awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.